Okay. So hi everyone, my name is Doman, and today I'll be presenting our work, uh, a compact convolutional network for textured surface anomaly detection. So surface anomalies generally arise during the production process, and we would like to perform quality control assurance to ensure that the end products are defect free. So surface anomaly appearances generally varies. These are from scratches, cracks, or dents in the surface of an object. As such, the appearance it's just, uh, the appearances change holistically in terms of geometric properties, pixel uh, contrast, and intensity transitions. So modeling complexity in general increases with increasing surface complexity. Uh, here we propose a CNN for segmentation and detection, which is compact, robust, and explainable. By compact, we mean that it, it, that it is able to learn anomaly patterns from a handful of, uh, um, of examples. By robust, we mean that within a similar problem domain, it requires merely slight, if any, parameter adjustments. And with explainable, here we mean that it provides visual localization and reliability estimation to a domain expert. The intuition between the, uh, behind the design is basically that anomaly patterns and structures are limited. As such, you do not need large architectures. Uh, when it comes to determining the filter size, in general, this should be determined so that um, when enclosing an anomaly, you provide also background context and basically you continue so throughout the network when you do your uh, volume subsampling. Uh, sub uh, so in short, this is the proposed architecture. Uh, as you can see, it consists of the uh, segmentation and the classification part. Uh, in general, subsampling is replaced by uh, convolutions of uh, strides of two. Uh, it requires merely around 100 examples prior to slight augmentation and it exhibits around 1.1 million parameters. So as depicted here, an input, uh, the input is just an image and the output you get the segmentation map and uh, this reliability score. Uh, this was evaluated on the Dagon data set. Basically it consists of a variety of different surfaces with weak uh, and variously shaped uh, anomalies. So if we take a look at the results, um, so uh, we train different training setups. These are, uh, first column is just uh, positive examples. These are, these are examples with defects. Second is positive examples and examples without defects. Then just augmented positive examples. And augmented positive examples with added negative uh, examples. With the latter, we achieve state-of-the-art performance in terms of segmentation and classification. And we merely have one false negative example on, 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 on one surface. Um, the lower table shows this uh, when compared to uh, the second column is basically VGG-based uh, deep learning and the uh, la uh, last three are non-deep learning-based uh, methods. Uh, if we take a look at uh, the segmentation results from our approach, um, basically, again, first column is just the input images, second column is the ground truth labeling, which is, of course, binary, uh, and then the different uh, segmentation outputs. So as we see, um, we have strong improvements when we uh, basically uh, augment positive examples and add the negative examples. This is really clear in the first uh, few images where we strongly reduce uh, background artifacts. Okay, now if we try and apply this in a real world problem, this is a, an example from, um, for, from uh, images from the pharmaceutical heart gelatin capsules captured by specialized machines. As you, he as you see here, we would like to distinguish any type of anomaly uh, from uh, capsule surfaces, capsule, capsule joints, and uh, printed markers. And with this a small and compact way, we're able to do so without uh, making exactly any changes to the uh, architecture. I am, so uh, if you're interested, interested in this or want to know uh, some more specific details, uh, I would like to see you at my poster. So thank you.